Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we talk about the course lab topology and goals. So I have prepared this topology with three locations, the headquarters and two branches. And in the first place we will be going and let me just grab a pen. We will be configuring the HQ48. We will start with basic setup initialization. So we will configure IP addressing both on the WAN interface and on the LAN interface. We will also have a management interface here. So we'll have a PC and we will be configuring basically the HQ48 uh, through uh, the web GUI, so the web uh, user interface. Next, we'll move to the branch 48 and we will do the same. We will configure IP addressing and also provide uh, management access through the management port. And again, we will have a management station here. Now, after configuring these two and also configuring uh, um, connectivity, so IP connectivity between the two sites, and we will test this through an ICMP session. So we will ping from branch 48 to HQ 48 or the other way around, it doesn't matter. We will be configuring the IPsec VPN setup between the two sites. And we will run, in this case, the IPsec VPN wizard. But anyway, you will see that in the upcoming lectures. Now the end goal, if the IPsec VPN uh, will be uh, successful, is that we will have a VPN tunnel built between the two sites and in the end, the, uh, the, the goal for any site-to-site -site VPN is that we can ping between the two PCs so that they look um, just as if they were in the same LAN. So ICMP connectivity between the branch LAN PC and the HQ uh, LAN PC should be obtained at, at the end of this configuration. Now, next we will move to the branch where we no longer have a 48 firewall, but we have a Cisco SA. So we will configure again here IP connectivity and uh, IP addressing on, on the interfaces. As any firewall, this uh, Cisco SA also has a management interface and it's zero by zero. But anyway, we will configure access so that we are able to, to access the firewall through ASDM. So the graphical user interface of the Cisco ASA. And when this is done, we will then configure the tunnel, the IPsec tunnel between again the HQ48 and the uh, Cisco ASA. And again, we will have to have I ICMP connectivity between the LAN PC of the HQ and the branch with Cisco ASA firewall. Now, as network engineers, we do know that Sometimes things break or at least they don't work in the first place. So we have to be ready in order to troubleshoot. So what to do in order to troubleshoot IPsec VPNs. And for this reason, I have prepared in the last section of this course, a couple of troubleshooting scenarios so that we are able to, um, to overcome these kind of situations. So troubleshooting scenarios, on the 48 firewalls are also included. So thanks a lot and join me in the next lecture.